how to draw a simple building. Well, here's a nice little building. It's so simple, it doesn't even have any windows on it. It's actually a very small country railway station building. We have three doors here and it has a simple pitched roof with a veranda. There is this metal girder attached to the building, which I'm going to leave off when I draw because whatever it was for, it's not part of the building. And because this is drawing a basic building for beginners, just want to point out that where we have these angled lines, in fact, as they move higher, the angle becomes greater. So if we look at the angle above the three doors, we see it's this angle. If we go to this veranda edge, it's steeper. And if we go to this roof, it's steeper again. It's steeper by a further degree because it's actually further away. And when we go the other direction, we find that the angle increases again, but the other way. And somewhere in between where the line angles upwards and where the line angles downwards, of course, there's a line that goes straight across. And that's called the eye level because it's level with the eyes of the person looking or more often level with the camera. And so when we draw, it's helpful if we can work out approximately where that straight line is, because then we know above that to angle the lines one way, getting larger and the other way, getting larger as they move further away up and down. I'm going to draw with my 0.5 millimeter pen. I'm drawing freehand directly in ink. It's a great skill to try and develop. And the only way we develop it is by doing drawings without using pencil first and learning not to worry about mistakes, but to see them as part of our process in developing a new skill. I'm going to start with this line down here and I'll explain how I'm thinking as I go. Resist the urge to draw along with me. Let me draw it and hear how I speak through my thinking. And then for you, if you want to try and draw it, to draw it yourself after that, then you learn a creative technique. And if you do want to draw this simple building, I've posted this photo on my YouTube channel community page. So let's go to drawing it. So I find putting marks can be helpful to just help me get a sense of what I'm doing because with pen, of course, I can't I can't um, erase them. Yeah, look, I think this there might be a bit right. So there's about halfway. And I'm looking at this angle to help me work out where to pitch the roof. So it's actually a bit higher. So I measure what I think it is. I compare it to the drawing. I go back and can check it again. And that's looking okay. Now, this is a quick sketch, so I'm not getting too fast with exactness, but I do want to capture the feel of this building. And so I'm seeing this awning now comes out about that far down and it's angled very slightly up. Now I'm not sure exactly how far along to take it yet, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to look at this line here. This line goes uphill slightly. It's not, um, it's not straight. And so I'm looking at this distance, which I think is about here. And it's going to be about, um, now this has a bit of thickness, so it's going to be about that distance there. So I'm measuring my new lines off the lines I've already drawn. I'll just pop in some of the shadow now because that just helps me get a better sense of the 
three dimensions that we're drawing here. And now we come across that distance, which is about this distance, I say. Uh, maybe a bit less. Then we have, we actually have this awning pole that comes a bit past the door. So I'm going to put that in now. I find that the mistake that it's easiest to make is to make all these things a bit wide, a bit large, and to not allow for the thickness of the, the line. Okay, and so now we have the door. The other door. And this one will look narrower than that one, even though they're the, real, the same size in life. So I've moved across referencing off what I've done. Now this awning, the angle is actually about, about there. So that's, that's handy to know. And now from here, the veranda actually angles at an angle. So I can, I can measure that angle and get a sense of what it is. Now see, it needs to be a bit more than what I've drawn. It needs to be more like there. And these dots, um, no one's going to really notice them at the end. So they're not going to be a problem. So I can see there's another pole now that's actually very close to the edge of the building. In fact, this line here goes pretty much straight out to the corner. So I'm wanting this line to meet up with where this comes to. So there's that pole and now there's this one. And that's looking pretty good. Now we just need to establish where these poles are ending. So we've got the, the tricky part done, the veranda there. Now we have this line here, which goes to here, and it's going to be, it's really this line here. So I'll draw that line, put that there, and then let's just see how the angle goes. That looks pretty good. I can see the roof line ends here. It's about level with this corner. So it's about level with there. But what's the angle I need to draw? So that's the spot there. And this line then comes down, whoops, comes down to the corner there. Now there is this chimney in the center. So I'm just going to come back a little way from this end here and then just pop in a slightly simplified version.
Now we have this railway platform. Now this awning here has bits of timber constructing it. So let's just add a little a little bit of surface texture to our building just to help give it a greater sense of reality of being a real thing construction. Now this is corrugated metal. So let's give some hint of the corrugations. And whatever the difference between this angle and this angle, we need to make sure that our lines, or try and make sure that our lines slowly shift from this angle to this angle as they move along. There's a bit of shadow there, so I'm just going to indicate that with these lines. Now, I'd like to give some indication that this is brick. Now this video has been in real time, but for these sections where I'm doing the brickwork and also in a moment when I do the trees, I'm actually speeding the video up to double time, just so it doesn't take as long to watch. If you're interested in particularly in drawing trees or in my approach of doing brickwork, I actually have separate videos on both of those topics. But what we don't want to do is to have to draw every brick. And of course, all of our horizontal lines have to adopt the angle of the position that they're in. And possibly the last thing we want to do is to indicate some of this shadow under the awning. It's actually taken in the rain, which is why the shadows aren't more definite. So I'm just going to actually make them a little bit more definite. And this is called hatching, drawing fine lines close together. to indicate tone or color or shadow. You'll see I changed direction of my hatching lines where the wall was facing a different direction. And I think the only thing that's left to do with our simple building now is to put an indication of the trees behind because we can make the foliage a little bit dark and that'll help accentuate, highlight the building.
drawing is not just about line per se, but it's also about the tonal values we create with our lines. So I just saw this little air vent there, so I've put this on. And you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm adding the background foliage here to help to make more easily visible these posts and this veranda. But I'm not putting the foliage behind the line work of the chimney because I, that's an interesting visual contrast. So I want that to stand out nicely. But now I'm also going to add some darker line work here to help push this side of the building forward. So here we have our simple railway station building. This took me probably just over 20 minutes to draw. A couple of dark lines to allow for shadow being cast. And then a quick look just to see if there's any additional lines that need a little more work. And there we have it. Why not give it a go? And can I encourage you, if you're learning to draw buildings, learning to, learning to draw architecture, don't leave out the elements such as trees or if it's a street, putting in the garden furniture, the benches, the street garbage containers, the street lamps, because all of those things give context to our building. And so we want to develop those support acts, if you like, to the same level, the same skill level of drawing as we do with our architecture. And a good way to do it is even in these little quick early sketches, we add those details. And of course, we can always adjust them to improve our drawing. As I did with these trees, I adjusted the tone and the position of them somewhat. To hopefully improve the overall effect of my drawing. G'day, I'm Stephen Travers. Why not give it a go drawing this yourself? So go to my community page, print off a copy and get your pen. But whatever you draw and however you're drawing it, make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.